Hello, I'm Entrylis and welcome back to Aurora 4X. A very complicated, long, long climb up the cliff, the learning cliff. But we're doing it. So, uh, currently we're exploring uh, our own solar system. We've looked around. There's actually a reason why our resources now, thankfully, after that reroll. And I believe the current plans are to build a cargo ship once we get the uh, shipyard big enough. Send the cargo ship probably to Mars and start dumping infrastructure there so we can take people there. To do that, we're also going to need to be able to make a colony ship. So we'll probably research that at some point today. And we'll also start having a look around at some of these jump points as well. Let's go next 30 days. Right. We've trained a load of garrison battalions. We've added 5,000 tons of capacity to the Nest shipyard, which means, for a start, the Nest shipyard is now capable of building pretty tall Paris class. So we're going to build the Paris, which is going to be the first of its generation. And then we're going to build the, oh, what's the next one going to be? Another French city. I don't want to spell them wrong, so I'm going to take my, uh, I, I was going to say, I don't, I don't want to spell them wrong, so I'm going to take my advice from Twitch chat, and then I decided that that's not going to help me spell them wrong. Uh, Leon, the Leon, there we go, this is going to be Leon. And both of those are going to be built 18th of February, sounds good to me. I think they've got a lot of good ones. Versailles, Marseille, <laughs> Brussels. Oh dear. Uh, right. Oh, we also need to do training more garrison battalions. I'm still making a negative racial wealth. Mm. Uh, we will convert to cadre. Convert to cadre. Convert to cadre. I might just convert all of them to cadres. Only low tech divisions can be good. Oh. Low tech armor. I've selected low tech armor. Convert to cadre. You are a low tech division. I converted you into cadres before. I'm confused. I guess maybe I need some sort of technology that I can turn them into? I don't know. Maybe I need another technology before I can do that. I know I've converted low tech armor into cadres before. Strange. Uh, check use of cadres. Make me some garrison battalions. So we added the Everest. Which means that we can make another Hawking class. Now, for this Hawking class, we've got to name it after another quantum physicist. So, ooh, who would be a good quantum physicist? I'm going to just Google quantum physicist list. Oh, Dirac, Bohr, Schrodinger, Heisenberg, Pauli. Obviously, like, my mind was blank and now the list comes up instantly. I'm like, well, duh. Yeah, like, all of these are good. I want a Schrodinger class. I really do want a Schrodinger class right now. So we're going to get ourselves a... Uh, Schro... Do I need to put an E because I'm removing the umlaut? That I can actually ask Twitch chat. They will know that. Schrodinger. Yeah, I need to put an E because I've got Maroon the Umlaut. Plank, also good. Let me just check I've spelled that right. I have put extra... No, no that's correct. Schrodinger. Excellent. I'm liking having physicists and scientists in general. 
It works quite nicely. Problem is, I'll have to step outside physicists at some stage, at which point I will have no clue. I'll be like, so famous biologists. I say that. I should know something about certain things, but, you know, considering what degree I did, but either way. Uh, oh, hello, we've got the Drenny issue. There we go. I was wondering how long before that would crop its head up. I was I was wondering. I thought maybe we'd, we'd be out of it. Maybe we'd be okay. Nope. 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 More geranium it is. If that continues to be an issue, what I will do is I'll make more financial centers because they don't actually use geranium. They use carbamite and iridium. Chemists, mathematicians, astro yeah, plenty of good ones there. Okay, we did research in asteroid mining. We have a missiles connects person. Uh, and we have a lot of garrison battalions. Okay. Ground units. Uh, ground unit training. Garrison battalion. More of them, please. Mineral shortage, I can't really do much about right now. Uh, we did our research. Okay. What do we want to do for our next research? Hmm. Probably want to do that cryo we talked about. Cryogenic transport. That allows us to actually ship people in large numbers. I think right now we can actually ship them, but we have to use effectively quarters. Like, they need rooms and stuff, and toilets, and mess halls, and they take a lot of room. It's really inefficient to transport people as it is. If we get cryogenic, we freeze them. And then we're fine. We've got no one matching, so we're going to use Nathan again. Sorry about this, Nathan. You're just so good. Uh, and we'll grab you. And you will be done 2nd of February. Ah, you can't take any more. That's fine. Uh, what we'll do instead is we will have a look in defensive systems and we'll get someone working on composite armor. Start working towards basic military techs. Because we have a 20% defensive system person lying around, so they might as well do something. Okay, so we built the Feynman. Still mineral shortages. Okay, so before we tell the Feynman to do anything, I'm going to go to my industry, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the amount of geranium we're using slightly. I'm not going to lower the mines. Oh, just 5%. Fine. We'll put that 5% on Financial Center. It's not going to be a massive help there. Uh, however, we do have ourselves the Feynman now. So, we are going to detach. We're going to make a superior formation. The Curie. Save. Curie. Oh, actually, if I do that, it'll propagate. Uh, no. Make your superior formation the... Hawking, yeah. Then we go to the Hawking. Copy to the Feynman. If we go to the Feynman, it's all copied except for the condition here, which we should go resupply if less than 20%. And what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to flip this to actually survey nearest system location. And you can be survey nearest body, which means that it will firstly go and do the grav surveys that we haven't done so far, instead of doing the geological surveys. It'll do the geo surveys once it's done. And so, we'll go around the 30 points. I think we said we started with four jump points in our home system. So it's got 30 points that they could be at. Oh, research cryogenic transport already. Nice, good job there. Uh, we're gonna need probably more construction production. If I'm honest, like when you have this construction production rate, 
And that's a reason to change. Mining production. Yeah, sure. More mining, more geranium. Let's do it. That seems that seems a reasonable approach to the problem. And I will actually remove some labs from you. And add a research lab to you. Right. How long until we're done with those freighters? Nearly done. Okay. As soon as they're done, they're going to be taking infrastructure from Sol to Mars. And how much infrastructure do we have built? 348. Okay. So the Paris and the Leon were just built. Mineral shortage geranium in production of infrastructure earth. Garrison Battalion trained. Right. Well. We'll train the last three Garrison Battalions using a three cadres. Um, you know what? I'll add another one, which won't be trained from a cadre, so that'll take a lot longer. That's fine. And then we're going to start shifting stuff over to Mars. Now, to do that, we're going to need to select the Paris and the Leon. Now, I can detach them individually using the detach button. We don't want to do that because we actually want to attach both of them in one group. We're going to keep both of them together. So instead, we're going to go to special orders. We're going to select both of these. We're going to hit split task group. So by click, shift click, split task group, we're then given a shipyard task group, hashtag two. So we're going to rename the task group. Now we're going to name you um, space. So it's at the top of the list. Sol Freighters. And then, there we go. Start off at Earth. Pick up uh, a mass driver. Pick up another mass driver. And then go to Mars. And then unload all installations. Then come back to Earth. Then load infrastructure. Then go to Mars. Then unload infrastructure. Actually, you can load multiple infrastructure, can't you? One cargo bay can load how much infrastructure? Like 50? Because each each infrastructure takes up a very small amount of space. We'll let them do this to begin with. And then we'll come back to do the infrastructure. Actually, once you're done with that, come back to Earth and refuel, resupply. Might as well. How much infrastructure can I move? Let's let's ask Twitch chat, since I have the ability to talk to them. How much infrastructure can go in a normal cargo bay? Oh! We found a jump point! Damn, that was quick. Like 20 infrastructure. Okay. Oh! 20 infrastructure for the entire group, 10 per standard cargo bay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, we have a jump point. We could go, we won't go exploring just yet. Uh, we're going to need to be ready for that. But we have found a jump point, which is jump point one, unexplored. Sulfurate has failed to load mass driver Earth. You've got your mass drivers. Go to Mars. Unload all installations. Go back to Earth. Refuel. Resupply. George Webb has joined. Defensive systems that you've sent. Great. I already have a defensive system person, but at least you're better. Shortage of Geranium, and Freighters have completed their orders. Now, Sol Freighters. If I tell you at Earth to load infrastructure, 
Will you load just the one infrastructure each, or will you just load one infrastructure? I'm interested. Or will you load you like a hold full of infrastructure? I don't know what you're going to do. I think you will just load one each. So you need to do this ten times, because you can get ten infrastructure in your hold. Both will fill their cargo holds. Okay, so this just tells them to fill their cargo hold full of infrastructure. Okay. Then go to Mars. Then unload all installations. Then go to Earth. Refuel. And we're going to put this on cycle moves. So they should, in theory, load, unload, refuel. Load, unload, refuel. And then they'll do that constantly. Um, beyond that, we probably want to start thinking about um, jump gate ships. And what's the other one? The cryo ship. How are we doing at the moment with our shipyard size? Yeah, so you can build me a jump gate, judging by your size. Uh, cryo could probably be built here. So let's start building ourselves a cryo ship. So, new. This is going to be a colony ship. Civilian, so it needs a name. Um, what, what would be a good colony country to grab names from? Hmm, probably... I mean, let's let's go all the way back. Africa, the cradle of human civilization. Let's use African names. So, rename. You can be the Praetoria class. Is Praetoria right? People are suggesting countries again. I'm like, oh, we're just gonna, just gonna start with African names here. So we're gonna start with the Pretoria. Then we can have other names of cities in Africa. Uh, we design view. We want to put in cryogenic transport. The more of these are put in, the more people we can have. Each one is capable of, what, 10,000 people? I'm trying to count the zeros. I think it's 10,000 people. Now, we know how much we've got to play with. We'll try and make this a 16,000 ton vessel. So, we're going to add... Um, uh, oh, hello. You're a nuclear pulse engine. We should probably make you obsolete. Uh, iron drive. And maybe a second iron drive? Yeah. You're just under that 16,000 ton limit. Okay, 40,000 bursts. Travels at just over 1,100 kilometers per second. I don't think we need to make any changes. It's effectively a couple of engines with some pods strapped to the front. Yeah, sure, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but... No, no, what we'll do, we'll add, we'll add fuel. That way it can do, you know, voyages outside the solar system if it needs to. There we go. 16,000 tons can go almost 200 billion kilometers. That's fine. 16,000 tons. Bang. Done. No problem. I'm going to lock it up. I'm going to close. And we're going to start building those immediately. So, manage shipyards. We would like you. Retool for the Pretoria. Construct me the Pretoria. What are the other uh, main cities in South Africa? It's Pretoria something and something. Um... Any time I get put on the spot, I, I suck at names, especially especially geography. Pretoria, New something, um, Johannesburg, that's the other one. Cape Town, Johannesburg. Thank you, Sleepy Dragon Man, on point there. Um, and then Cape Town. Bam. 
Bam. So there's our three colony ships being made. Uh, you have no more activity. Probably do want to make a couple more freighters. At least that way we don't have to make any more for a while. So we will need another two French cities. And what were people saying? Uh, Versailles? Versailles? It, Versailles? Is that a big enough city? Yeah, yeah, I know it's a palace, but... How big is Versailles? It is big enough. Yeah, it is a city. It does count. So yeah, this can be the Versailles. Is that spelled correctly? It is spelled correctly. It just spelling never looks correct to me. And the Marseille. Okay. Uh, you're good. You're still expanding. You're good. Um, the Windermere is still expanding. We're going to need a jump gate ship for you, aren't we? Yeah. Let's make ourselves another ship. Okay. Uh, so new. This is a jump gate construction ship. Is there a C for construction ship? Construction. Con there we go, construction ship. Uh, we would like to rename you. Things that build stuff. What, what is a good name for... Could go German? I don't think we necessarily want to go German. Maybe... Maybe Sweden? We can go for some Swedish cities for our, our construction ships, for our jump gates. Ooh, the choices, the choices, the choices. Japan? Japan! Could do Japan. Yeah, these could be Japanese ships. Our construction ships are named after Japanese cities, so of course the first one is going to be the Tokyo. So this is going to be the Tokyo class of construction ship. Um, we will need a jump gate construction module. Yes, it's 50,000 tons. That's why I had one of these working on continual expansion. 50,000 tons. Yeah. Uh, we will also want to get ourselves some engines. And funny, we're going to want probably like 10 of them. And then probably a lot of fuel as well. This we might make adjustments to before we actually deploy it, because there's nowhere to deploy it yet. Hell, there's a possibility we might have the next level of engine before we do. But we've got it ready. Definitely can't use it yet. We'll need another 15,000 tons minimum. Uh, everything else is good. You might as well make an extra slipway. Okay. Schroding's in the works. I think we will make one more quantum physicist, and I think this is going to be Heisenberg. So, Heisenberg. Of the Hawking class. That's going to eat up geranium supplies very quickly, I am fully aware. Uh, a cull. A lot of officers being fired because they weren't applied to anything. Mineral shortages. Yeah. To be expected. We've got a biology genetics person. I think we already had one of those. Garrison's trained. Um, 
don't really want to do any more than just yet. Uh, Kumaral is falling because the ship succeeds deployment time. Mineral shortage. Yeah. Nothing to be done. Okay, carry on. The Curie could probably do with going back now. Yeah, you're a bit overdue. Right, go back to Earth, refuel, resupply, begin overhaul, and what about the Feynman? The Feynman's okay. Oh, not the Feynman, sorry. The Hawk. Oh, the Rockin, yeah. Uh, the Rockin, yeah, you're overdue. Go back to Earth, refuel, resupply, begin overhaul. Okay, a lot of things happened. Uh, we built the Versailles. We built the Marseille. Um, the Schrodinger was also built. That's a lot of things. Okay. Uh, so, to start with, we're going to separate the Schrodinger out. We're going to make... Hawking your superior formation. Actually, no, don't make Hawking because it will copy across to Feynman. Make Feynman your superior formation. Feynman, copy across your default orders. Hawking. Not Hawking. Uh, Feynman. What am I looking for? Schrodinger, that's the one. Schrodinger, get rid of the jump point. But otherwise, you're okay because you do have all of this copied now. Yes, so you've now got all the orders copied. You should be good to go. And then we want the Marseille and the Versailles to be split out of here. And what we're going to tell for them is if we click Task Groups, you'll see Sol Freighters show up. We're going to get them to join. So these two are going to join that, and then this task group is going to cease to be. So that task group will just be four freighters. Done. I will want to give the Schrodinger someone in charge. Do we have someone in charge of the Feynman? I don't think we do. No. Okay. We'll get some survey people to be in charge. Commander William Fry, currently in charge of the Hawking. Unassigned. Okay. You're not high enough rank, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to promote you. And you can be in charge of the Feynman. And then Commander Sarah Knight. I'm going to assign you to the Schrodinger. There we go. And now everyone's got someone in charge. Right. Carry on. That task group is done with its orders. That's because they joined in the other task group. If we open up the task group screen, Sol Freighters now consists of four. Surprise that. We failed loads of infrastructure. Right, that means that we are basically out of infrastructure because they've transported it all. So, Sol Freighters, stop cycling your moves. Um, Earth, refuel, resupply. Actually, they've already got full fuel. Yeah, so just stop at Earth. Stay there. You're good. Earth's going to need more infrastructure. If we have a look at Earth, if we have a look at infrastructure, it's got zero. If we have a look at Mars, it has... 353 infrastructure. Infrastructure required by population is 200, so we can support a population of 1.77 million. That's great. Absolutely lovely. No one's living there right now. That's what we need our Pretorius from. 
Victoria, Johannesburg, and Cape Town. They will be done 25th of March next year. Okay. Other than that, things are going okay. The Windermere is kind of in the air where it's pretty much big enough to make a jump gate ship. Um, Victoria, we want you to build a effectively going to be an astro mining ship. I want you to get a little bit larger. I want you to be like 100,000 tons, maybe. Um, okay, we'll, we'll end your expansion when you've got like 90,000 tons. You just keep going. Uh, you up to 10,000 tons. Probably going to just say build an extra slipway for now. Actually, I might just cancel. And we'll probably do the same here, just because we really are short on geranium and we need our in industry to get as much as possible. We need more geranium. Nope, the accessibility is going down as we mine it. So, kind of need it. Quite desperately. I think we'll tone down construction factories. Because it doesn't matter if we don't have the stuff to make the constructions with. And we'll get more mines. Right, how are we doing for automated mines? We've got 28. Okay, so what we can do about automated mines is we can... Geological Survey Report. Right, with this button, we can have a look through the current system, the Sol system, for Geranium, and it will list it by accessibility. Sol, Mercury. Mercury has accessibility one. Pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. There's a lot there. It's also got a lot of sorium. That's pretty useful for making fuel. Venus uh, also has some neutronium, some corodium, and some gallocyte. It has a lot of geranium, 0.9 accessibility. The rest is so inaccessible it's not particularly helpful. Here, though, we've also got tritanium. Sorium. Yeah, and Mercury's slightly more accessible. So what we're going to do is I think we'll send our automated mines to Mercury. So... Firstly, sulfurators, start on Earth, load automated mines, go to Mercury, unload automated mine, go back to Earth, refuel, resupply, cycle moves. And they'll do that until they've taken all the automated mines over, at which point we'll take a mass driver over and we'll start flinging stuff at Earth. And Earth has enough mass drivers that it can catch the stuff. Never fling things at Earth. When Earth does not have mass drivers, it will go very poorly for you. You will be flinging thousands of, maybe not thousands of tons, but hundreds of tons at very, very high speeds. Goodbye, Earth. Don't do it. You may do it once just for the YOLO, but don't do it in a proper game. Uh, right. You're cycled. Good. We'll hit 30 days. Trained our last battalion. We added some more to the Windermere shipyard. So, Windermere, you're still not quite on 90,000 tons, so we will add 1,000 more tons. And then I'll be happy. Uh, there is still a geranium issue, not as much as there was. Oh, nope, there's still as much as there was. Preventing regular maintenance as well. Ugh. Wait, someone called Nathan Savage. Let's bring up the event log. Someone called Nathan Savage died. Nathan Savage died of natural causes. No one called Nathan Savage dies of natural causes. I'm sorry, but if your name is Savage, you will not die of natural causes. Nathan Savage. The name's Savage. Nathan Savage. That died of, you know, natural causes in sleep. No, nah, mate. No. Nah. Doesn't work like that. If your name is Savage, you do not die like that. Okay, when the shipyards added the extra capacity. Right, have we seen any other jump points? We actually haven't. That's that's quite surprising. Huh. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hide surveyed jump points. You can see that all of these have been surveyed. There is a button for this somewhere. Hmm. 
Hide surveyed locations. There we go. New jump point found. There we go. Jump point two. Ooh, fairly close in. Twenty percent shipbuilder. Not bad. Um, we complete research into Stellarata fusion reactor. I approve. Someone died in an accident. Oh, they were unassigned. Eh. Doesn't bother me. Right. Power propulsion. Magnetoplasma drive technology. 20,000 research points. As soon as we get this, though, we won't need to research and have a drive for at least 10 years. Dear God, your 10% bonus is still pretty low, though. When will you be done? 36. So we're looking at four years. Oof. That's not great. Questions, do we start building a jump gate ship? Not yet. We're going to wait on the jump gate ship. All right. Meanwhile, do we want to build another exploration vessel? Yes. We're going to make another exploration vessel. This is going to be the Derek. And research lab. Shortage of geranium again. Okay. When are we going to be done with the colony ships? Almost there. Then we done much. If we have geranium. Uh, construction production. Oh. Right. You're five days away from being done. We'll skip five days. Surprise! We finished the research! Mining production. Excellent. We needed that. We really needed that. Uh, we will also probably go straight into uh, research rate. Because you'll have it done in like a year. I mean, yeah, a year and a half for more research. Seems good to me. Okay. We'll skip forward time again. We completed construction mass drivers. The also the Heisenberg was complete. Ooh. Okay. So first things first. Industry. We've got ten percent left. Uh, we're probably going to want to put that onto mines. Yeah, and we're going to want to increase the number of mines by another 100. So we'll put that on 200. There we go. We're also then want to have a quick look at our shipyard. The Heisenberg. Detach. Superior formation. Again, we're going to do this weird chain thing where we make the Schrodinger the superior. Then we select the Schrodinger. We copy across. And then Heisenberg. I would like to give you the order to supply points. And then removal. Okay. And we're still going to need to assign a commander to you. So Heisenberg, someone who has a survey bonus. Commodore Jason. Ah, you're on a lot of our geology teams. That's that's good standing. However, you do not have the rank, but considering your your adequate uh, performance on the geology teams, well, I think you are ready for promotion. 
You're now Commodore, which means I can assign you. Oh, actually, I promoted you to rank four. Commodore's rank four, right? Jason, 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 Jason. Jason. No, I made yeah, I made him a rear admiral. I promoted him from Commodore to rear admiral. Whoopsie! That was maybe a mistake. Either way, he's fine now. He was number one on the list, not rank one. Sorry. Well, we've got a rear admiral now in charge of that. That's fine. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, that rear admiral can just go off in that survey ship by himself. That's not going to be a problem. Um, someone joined my scientific establishment. Survey 10%. New sign. It's survey 10%. On wait, what? Who just joined? Ross. I was like, oh, they've got a 10% survey bonus. That's not a thing. Ross is actually a power propulsion person with 0% bonus. Thank you, Ross. You suck. And there we go. We have our colony ships. Hopefully we won't run out of geranium now. So, as per usual, we're going to pop over here. We're going to grab all of them. Split task group. Rename task group. And we're going to space sol colony ships. Your job is going to be go to Earth. Um... Divide fleet into single ships. Load colonists. There we go. Go to Mars, unload colonist, go to Earth, refuel, resupply, and then repeat this. But we're not going to do cycle moves because we, if we forget, we might end up moving the entire population of Earth to Mars where we don't have the infrastructure for them. So instead, we know we can get 40,000 people on each ship. We have three ships, so that is 120,000 people. We know Mars can take 1,770,000. Sorry, 1,700,000... 700. 1,770,000. There we go. I can words. Uh, which means that we can do 10... Almost 15 trips. Yes. Almost 15 trips. So we're going to say... Because we're... Then I add another five. Yes, then take away a trip. Sure. So we're going to tell you to do, repeat this, another 13 times. So you'll be doing it 14 times in total. Okay. And then they should, in theory, take people to Mars. Take me to Mars. I want to get people over there. Do, 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 do. Um... I may have made a mistake by not giving them a cargo handling thing, which is, I think, going to massively increase their load time. How much time did we get forwards? We did. We went forward 16 days, and it's still going to take them two more days. We need to give them a cargo handling thing. That's easy to do. We'll do that, like, next episode or something. There you go. It's going to take them a few days to get to Mars. Someone stepped down due to a medical condition. No, the governor of Earth! No, the governor of Earth stepped down due to medical condition. You can't do this to me! Okay. New civilian administrator. Governor of Earth. We would like you to have a... Factory production bonus. Who have we got? You've got no mining bonus. You are awful. Right. Who have we got who's got a mining bonus? Thirty percent. Fifteen percent. Uh Toby. 
You're governor of Earth. I need that mining bonus. Now, later on, we can put you in charge of somewhere else. But right now, and for the foreseeable, you know, next 10 years, all of our minerals are going to come from Earth. After 10 years, okay, off-world minerals are going to be important. But right now, it's still going to be Earth. So we're going to assign you to Earth. This sucks. Oh, God damn it. Why, David? Why? Okay. And you know what? Since we do actually have uh, a was it a first imperial minister or imperial first minister or whatever, uh, this will be Ice Lord Cryo, who did win the last election. Since this is effectively the highest rank we have currently, governor of the Earth and Aethor. And that will get thirty percent extra mining. That's great, by the way. Thirty percent extra minerals is going to be really helpful. It's just a shame we've lost our production bonus because that was good. Uh, right now, now if we close that and bring this up, Mars has a quarter of a million people. Now, bear in mind the Earth actually has available workers seventy-five million. We've got seventy-five people who don't have a job. Mars, we now have people there. Not that they have any work right now. There's actually nothing on Mars. Other than the infrastructure and people. We actually need to give them mines or something. For now though, it's enough to actually have them there. One thing we're going to do is we're going to give those colony ships cargo handling systems though. Because right now, they are not great. Uh, so, this is going to talk about refitting. So you can refit a ship and do a very long laborious retool, blah 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 blah. But if your ship is substantially similar, I think it's like if there's a 10% change or less, it might be 20%. I think it's 10%. I don't know. If there's a very small change, you don't have to retool the shipyard. You can use the same shipyard without retooling. That long, laborious retooling process doesn't need to take place. So if we go to Pretoria, and if we go copy design, rename, and we name this the Pretoria Mod 2. Actually, this is mod 1, because it's the mod 1 of Pretoria. We can... Do, 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 do. Add a cargo handling system. This does increase the tonnage a fair bit. 150 tons extra is annoying, but it's not going to break the bank. So, we go to Earth, manage our shipyards. We need you to add... Now, say 500 tons. It won't take long. You'll be done in June. There we go. It's been added. And... Solar colony ships. I'm actually just going to say remove all your orders. You're going to stay there. What we can now do is we can go to the shipyard. And if we go construction, we should see Pretoria Mod 1 without any retooling. I would like to refit to, refit from Pretoria class to the Pretoria Mod 1. We want to do that to the Pretoria, to the Johannesburg, and to the Cape Town. And it'll take them until the 30th of June. Just to add the cargo handling module on the side. Which is useful for when people like me forget very basic things like that. Skip forwards a bit. And then suddenly, bam, refitted. Someone uh, had a medical problem, they were unassigned. Someone's going to have a medical problem that will affect their long-term health. Someone's joined my army corps. Ten crew added to the ship, changing the crew grade. That's fine. So, with that done, colony ships, you'll notice they are now Praetorium Mod 1s. And we can assign you to Earth, load colonists, Mars, unload colonists, Earth, refuel, resupply. They've done that twice. We said we're going to do it 14 times. This is one, so that needs to be another 11 repeat. Good. And if we zoom in on them, 
let's skip forwards one day. Failed load colonists at Earth. Oh, have you already got people on board? You do. Okay. Um, Mars. That failed to underscore my point. Unload colonists. That's going to take you 23 hours. Okay. Uh, then go to Earth. Refuel. Resupply. Load colonists. Then do 11 more times. And then we get rid of the last load. There we go. So they end up without anything. Let's go to Mars instead. One day. Time required. One day, 15 hours to unload our colonists. That's not bad. It's going to be a lot faster now. Okay. Oh, we also found a new jump point. That's our four jump points. One, two, three, four. We haven't actually looked at the rest of the survey points. We don't need to. We actually know that there's nothing left. So I'm going to quickly go through and select the Feynman. Survey nearest body. And we'll continue to, you know, survey the nearest whatever uh, survey location as a second. Just to get rid of the dots off the screen. Survey nearest body. Survey nearest survey location. And then the Heisenberg survey. Nearest body. Survey. Uh, nearest survey location. There we go. Done. And with that, we have our first off-world colony. We are colonizing Mars. We have a million people there by this point. Uh, someone got killed in an accident. They were unassigned. Someone joined. And someone got promoted. Good for you. Sun system shaping up. And we've got a fair number of things going on. One thing I do want to check before we end the episode, though, is... Does Jupiter, as our other main gas giant, have any fuel? Please tell me it's a yes. Jupiter, 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 Jupiter... Uh, still haven't looked at Jupiter... What? Okay, fair enough. I know we're mostly doing jump points this episode, but still... Really? Fine. I guess our ships are fairly slow. For now, though, I've been Nate Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you have, give us a like, subscribe, do the bell thing, then do the clicking thing off of the bell thing, whatever. Just go check my Twitter out or whatever. Um, but until next time, like, subscribe and all that. But very importantly, comment section. Let me know what you're thinking of the series so far. I know it's a very in-depth game. I know it's very much a lot of very small text and me talking and pointing at things. But hopefully you're enjoying it. Uh, it's a very hard sort of science type thingamabob, even though I know, I know it's not necessarily like there's no Newtonian physics where you think trans-Newtonian elements and all that. But the actual space element is very logistics focused, which is kind of cool. At least I think so. If you don't, that's fair enough. But uh, I just want to get the, the sense of how people are enjoying it now we've got to this point. Until next time, stay shiny.